wow just wow if you're new here my name is Shade. nice to meet you if you're not new here hey bitch what's up i'm gonna be showing you guys my long awaited everyday makeup routine how are you guys how's everybody's day going um i hope everybody's good so today i um woke up looking like a raccoon so i already put on moisturizer that's all i have on my face right now it's from tatcha it's the dewy skin cream it's so good okay so i went to sephora and i bought this perfume i fucking love this perfume it's so good it's daisy from Marc jacobs it reminds me of my childhood and no, I know it smells like granny to some people, but I freaking love it. It's not strong, but it still has a little sweet scent to it. It's very good. I love it. Anyways, I got this new e.l.f. highlighter and it's so good. It's called Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter with a Vitamin E. It's illuminating. I also got this Fenty Beauty that I'm going to be using today in this video. It's in the shade Mocha. It's a match stick. So nice. Honestly, review real quick. I'm not a big fan of their French Vanilla. Ugh. That shit is mad drying. But it's supposed to be magnetic. They lied. They lied. I also got this Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 25. It's from Smashbox Halo. And it's in the shade Light Medium. I'm not really a big fan of it because it's super yellow. And I kind of have like a peachy undertone. So I think it's too late to return it. So I'm just going to leave that. But let's just get started because I've been talking a whole freaking lot. Um, I usually never use primer, but today I'm going to use primer because I want to try this Tatcha stuff. It's pink. Tatcha stuff smells so good. It reminds me of um, Purity. No. What's that line? I forget what it's called. So the first thing that I usually do is I go in with my concealers. I go crazy on my red spots or like my problem areas i put the tarte creaseless concealer in the shade Ooh, i don't know babes i just put it on the sides of my nose any little areas that bother me i do this right here because i rub my eyes a lot Especially in the corners, they get so red. I have to work on that. I'll put a lid on the middle of my nose. And that's basically it. Oh, I didn't do it here. I just go in with this is an e.l.f. brush. It says Ultimate Blending. I don't know. I picked it up in the supermarket because it looked pretty. My best friend always tells me to tap not smear so i'm working on that after that i go in with my revlon photo ready bb cream it has spf 30 and it's in a 020 light medium i love this so much i literally like need to go buy another one so bad oh my god i actually have to do that today i'm going on vacation tomorrow and i know for a fact it's gonna be hard as f to find that but i don't want to deal with that so I just dab it under my eyes and then I take it into the rest of my whole face and just like put it everywhere. I use it as foundation because I feel like foundation is too strong for me and it clogs my pores a little too much and I care about my skin and my mommy taught me this. My mom has beautiful gorgeous skin and she literally never uses foundation. She uses BB cream like for forever now so... I just listen to her because she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> and then I go and abuse my face. I don't put makeup on my forehead. I try not to because no, we don't do that here. Why is it coming out like that? So I came to the conclusion that I really, 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 really hate the primer. That was such a terrible choice i never use primer and it's for a reason tried to be cute for youtube and look what happens to me bueno que me pasa says 111 flathead contour brush now i'm just gonna go in with my i'm gonna put it on the sides of my face on the sides of my nose under my nose i try to bring it up a little bit under the lips i put it 
not really boxing, whatever. Okay. And then I put it a little bit on the round. So I literally shape my whole face. Oh my god, I look like an animal. And then I just start blending it, bitch. And then I just wipe it on my nose. Because I like to have my nose really dark. And then I like clean it up with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I like to bring it in real fine and then... On the middle and then I take any really f any little brush honestly that can get you a nice little line it's nothing too crazy and I go in I like fill in what I missed okay so then I bring my contour out by the way, I'm still using the Benefit, Hula Benefit. And then I just put it on my outer crease. I try not to do too much because again, we want a natural look, but she gives, she always gives. It gives it the eye such a different look, such a discreet like, ooh, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with, who? I don't even know what this is called. Oh, actually, I could see it a little bit. It says SM or SBI. I'm not sure. It's a correcting primer, dark spot corrector. My mom got it for me like four years ago, and I still, to this day, can't let it go. And I want to find the dupe of this because it's so good. And I go over the highlighted spots that I've done already and I like to do my eyebrows like this so I just go lightly on the top oh that was heavy and heavy on the bottom to lift my eyebrows yet still give it a nice sharp look this is my favorite part because I use my fingers to blend this I don't know why, I just think it blends way, way better than anything that I have. This is the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I'm not a crazy fan of it, but I got it in an Ipsy package. So I'm like, why not, you know? And then I just go over everything, basically. Okay, I have brunch at one. My friend. But I have to go pick them up. It's 12.44. Oh, okay. So then I just take a spoolie and I usually wet it to get off all of the makeup that I've had. Now I'm going to go in with the NARS Gulu in the shade Gulu. It's a, um, a NARS blush. So bomb. And I'm going to be taking my Sephora brush, the Pro Flawless Light Powder 50. I just put a little and then I shake it off and then I just like... Dab it. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit of highlighter to highlight the inner corner of my eye. So I like bring it up to open my eyes a little. Then I take a little tiny bit and put it in the corner right here. So I'm going to go back in and highlight the spots that I'm like, mm, about. You see me going crazy because like, I have somewhere to be. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just going to add a little bit of more blush and then I think I'm good. I'm going to finish off with my highlight in the rest of the spots that I missed earlier. So, I just put a little line. You can barely even see it. I don't like too much highlight, honestly. And then I just take a little bit right here. 
And then I bring it out on this side. It's such a beautiful creamy blend. I love this brush so much. I take this brush. It doesn't have a name anymore. I'm so sorry. I got it in the supermarket. If you guys see anything like this, it's called the blush brush. Get it. I use it right here. Oh my god. Literally. Heaven and bristles. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless 22 Natural Beige Powder. Um, I take this as like a setting powder, I guess you can say. And I like literally pack it on. And I go crazy. No, I don't go crazy, but I really love this. Um, I use it in all the spots that I'm like still iffy about. And then, and then I just use the brush to clean it up. I do not set my face because I don't really put concealer in places that I know crease my face because then my makeup looks really crusty. So, this is the Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Mascara. Um, this I really love. It's like an oily consistency. My eyelashes are pretty long, so like it'll reach to the top and definitely smear. But I feel like it's a beautiful, beautiful mascara regardless of that. I have like two extensions left on my eyelashes. Bruh. So real quick, I'm going to put on some Vaseline. It's the rosy lips. It's the pink one. I'm going to go in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise um, from L'Oreal. Yeah, now I need my eyelash separator. So this is an eyelash separator and it's so good. If you don't have one, you need to get one. If you're a mascara girl like me. Because I don't really like fake eyelashes too much. They usually don't look that good on me. So... Um, I'm going to go in with Aume Brow Pencil. And it's like a crayon. It's in the shade dark blonde i'm just gonna i definitely overline right here i love to overline in the bottom i think it's so cute and sexy i like to take a very small brush and bring it up and blend it i'm so sorry you guys are crooked i did not mean for the video to end up like this but um thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys watching it to the end year ago i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video i don't know what time it is but it's been like two or three hours because my phone's dead since i've done my makeup i'm just going to show you guys what i got after getting brunch this is 100 percent cotton pads you need it, get it right now. You will notice the difference, I promise. Like, your vagina will literally thank you. Could I say that? Your coochie will definitely thank you. Then I have these Look So Natural by Kiss. Lightweight and comfortable. I think they're very small, but I feel like they'd be really cute for my pictures because I don't really like lashes and pictures. What I do is I'm going to cut it and then just add a bunch of mascara and then boom, lit. Then I got another one of what I was using earlier. It's a BB cream from Revlon. Wow, the sunset looks so gorgeous, guys. I just want you to see this. Wow. Just wow. And then I got this also from Kiss. Um, strip lash adhesive. Because I needed some new glue. Buy toodles. I didn't mean to throw up no gang signs. I'm sorry. Okay. I gotta stop talking like this. Eh, bing bong, fuck your life. <laughs> we didn't ask you to join the party here. Chill out. Ends of my lashes so I can get the little cut eye look and then uh, you, you know, because um, wow, that car's so cool. Oh my gosh, guys, there was this car. Oh my god, it's so cool. <gasps> ah, okay. So guys, I'm, I'm literally so obsessed with cars. So it was like a holographic color of like this color, like this teal. And then it was like, you could see inside, but you can't see. Oh my God, it was so cool. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.